Hello Climbers and welcome back. This is the Leaf Finals in Chamonix of 2023. No Yanyo Gambra or Ayamori this round, but that leaves a lot of room for the podium. So this is Vita Lukun off the ground in the women's final. And a little bit of a tricky sequence here with these slopey um, textures. These are Kando holds. Uh, Kando has not really been in the IFSC. Uh, much but it's good to see new stuff and new kind of textures and new kind of climbing holds in the competitions um, let me know if you guys love climbing holds because I'm a climbing holds nerd I absolutely adore climbing holds uh, coming into this blue section this is mostly a grip with that cheetah hold on the right hand side uh, now these are moving into cheetah volumes I just love the, the modern aesthetic of Climbing holes nowadays is so sleek, it's so clean. Um, and let's talk about the movement for a while. So there's lots of opportunities for new athletes to go on the podium because Yanya Gambra, Aimori, um, and I believe some of the Americans are not competing in this uh, World Cup because they're competing in, in uh, well, they're resting for the, um, you know, the World Championships, which is the Olympic qualifier events. So that's a very significant. Um, competition where where you know you will be able to qualify for very limited olympic spots so they're strategically kind of resting for that whereas uh, Vita Lukan also from Slovenia is a very strong lead climber as well she just barely managed to qualify oh they're having a little bit of trouble popping up with the right hand here oh those are new holds ah oh, those are new holds by Cheetah so um those are nice like uh in-cut ledges they look really really good uh, and really really modern so I quite like that kind of thing she seems to be resting here that hole seems to be pretty good it's a good time to rest looks like this route isn't too complicated um, but it does seem quite interesting aesthetically now I say not too complicated but it looks like it's getting a bit of a campusy part oh that's a really strong campus there's almost no other way to do that maybe oh almost slips with the right foot can she recollect herself? Yeah, she decides to go back. Reassess the situation. Yes, I guess that next hole is not the most juggy hole in the world. It's kind of slopey at that angle. She doesn't seem to be very clear on what the beta or she wants to do. It looks like she's deciding what choices will she make. Will she campus right away? No, she decides to put her right foot back up again. Try again. Cuts loose and commits with the left hand this time. That is just to stick it. Jams her right foot into that small blocked area and gets into the next section. So that could be a little bit of a difficult boulder problem there. Um, nothing too complicated, just very thuggy and very powerful. Now, oh, it looks like she's struggling a little bit in this kind of like heel hook mantle. You're going for a heel hook to an undercling. Your leg's kind of blocking yourself. Oh my god, okay, she's kind of cramping up. Oh my goodness, she healed the sloppy part on the left side. Oh, this is very, very uncomfortable. Trying to hold the tension with two underclicks and two heels. Oh, this is like frogging out and trying to really compress. This is really, really tricky. She is managing to chalk up here. She goes for the dino. Oh, double go. Oh, no. This is Helena from France. She eyes up the dino, gets her two feet. Yeah, she gets her two feet secure very nicely. No heels involved, heels get you really stuck. So I'm not sure I'd be like I'm not sure why people like to heel hook unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm not too much of a heel guy myself. <laughs> Even though I'm a little bit taller than usual. Are you a heel hook guy or are you like a toe guy? Let me know in the comments down section down below. Let's see how Helena does this. Oh my gosh, she's actually jamming her left knee in. Oh my gosh. She takes this right guest on jams her left knee in. No press is involved. This is such an interesting idea. I guess, you know, you climb with anything you can. I personally don't like to knee stuff, but if you could, you know, if it works for you, it works for you, man. Um, how does she transition here? It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a slight coordination, subtle coordination catch. Or you could go static with left hand and then go right. It should be good enough, maybe. Yeah, oh, she's super strong. There we go. Resetting all the slopey bits of that hole. Let's see if she gets a heel up. Oh, that right hand crimp is really, really tough. Those are like ch Taji uh, pinches um, yeah, by Cheetah Holds. But those are quite crimpy. Oh! -ho -ho! 
When you hold down Naka, it looks actually quite comfortable in this box. She sets up her feet. The dino should not be a problem for her. She's really good at this kind of thing. Yeah. Miho Nanaka is primarily a boulder specialist, but so that's why it's really cool to see her in this lead finals. It presses off her left, gets the right Gaston, gets her left underclean. Quite a complex sequence here before clipping. She looks like she's quite okay in this position. Not too not too in any trouble. How she navigates through goes left hand across. Waits her right foot. Steps across. Oh, gets a little bit of a heel so she can get her right hand. Not too bad. Okay, how will she deal with this crimpy pinch? Oh yeah, that's kind of it's quite a good crimp, I guess, but it's still very directional. Oh, swaps her feet. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Now we have Jane Kim, the legend herself. She's extremely small actually, so she's about what, five foot, only five foot tall. And um, she actually came up from retirement. This is her, you know, this is her return. And in the previous interview, she said she wants to compete because, well, to make her daughter proud. And I'm pretty sure it's just fun to compete. She just retired to have her daughter to you know, get married, have a daughter, but this time she's back in competitions and, you know, there's always this competitive spirit and social spirit in climbing that she just can't run away from. She just recently opened her gym in Seoul. I actually had the opportunity to go and see it, but I decided not to and rest instead because there's so many gyms in Seoul. Uh, bouldering in Seoul is the best place to boulder. Honestly, it's the best. It's it's amazing to boulder there. It's I always think if you are, you know, an intermediate or like average level climber, soul bouldering is amazing and the most fun for most climbers. Unless you're climbing like V8 regularly, um, both outdoors and indoors across many gyms, then you might prefer Japan. <laughs> but otherwise, if you are a normal human being, Seoul is the place. So, so many great boulder facilities over in Seoul. You must go to the climb. Any the climb franchise gym is like, the setting is just beautiful, technical, inclusive, and not so finger intensive. It's very open palms and um, you know half crimps at most. Yeah, maybe the harder stuff here have a little bit of the spicy stuff, but in general, for normal human beings, it's super flowy, super fun, and technical, dynamic, and it's very engaging kind of setting. I really highly recommend the bouldering in Seoul and. Well, Seoul has produ produced these two amazing athletes in the form of Jane Kim, um, you know, Che Hun Seo, Do Yeon Lee. So the Seoul bouldering scene actually high level there is actually quite high. So even if you're an experienced climber, you will have a lot of fun bouldering in Seoul. Lots of big quality holds as well. So um, yeah, enough of that. Let's look at Jane Kim. Jane Kim seems to be struggling a little bit in this sequence. Can't f quite seem to find the right tension to bump her left hand to the next hold she cuts loose a little bit looks like she's just taking her time here goes cross under cling oh wow she really ties it up what kind of tension is that it's so interesting it's like a right hand under cling with a right foot tension whoa that's really weird only jane Kim can climb like this she's amazing <laughs> she's actually cutting loose quite a lot but she can get away with it because she's so tiny, she's so light. Um, so it's it's so cool to see her climbing style. Um, you know, it's, she's really she's really a testament to climbers everywhere who are a little bit me a little bit more height challenged. But it goes to show that climbing isn't about height. Wow, she actually spans this move. You know, Vita Luca had to go dynamic through his left hand she actually spans it so nice and static and she's a short climber wow that's amazing jane kim the style is so steady so precise so deliberate everything she does is with beautiful intention this is such an amazing scene to watch right now jane kim what a master class comes in with the underclaim from a right heel hook steps across the box is no trouble for her somehow with her flexibility somehow with her poise and precision she's able to do this now this might be a challenge for her she dives up oh dinos across beautiful technique the box just fits right ni nicely for her she, wow that's a champion in the making jane kim i don't think she ever retired you know it doesn't seem like she ever retired at all 
kicks the clip so that she can get the uh, clip better. This shows the size of experience of climbing lead. This is so cool to watch. Now she takes a rest here. How long will she rest here? She only has two minutes left on the clock. I'm not sure if she has enough time to finish the top going her pace. So after this, she does need to hurry up a little bit. What will Jane Kim do? She think Kim takes the right hand Gaston. Maybe thinks second about it, tries to press up. Oh, changes her mind a little bit. A little bit indecisive here. What will she go? She goes right hand to the lower Gaston, presses up with her left, bumps her right hand to the higher Gaston. She wants to grab her left feet on. Does so quite nicely. The box fits her so nice and well. Takes the left hand under clean. Goes for the clip on her head. Looking good so far, Jane Kim taking the right hand hold. Doesn't seem to be in any trouble whatsoever. She seems quite fresh. Oh, that is a tough left hand hold. Goes left hand cross. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky sequence, maybe. Because a very high left foot goes in for the right hand. Beautiful bumps the left hand. Cross. Okay, this is the crux. This is one of the biggest crux here. How is she able to get to this crimp? Oh, she actually goes dynamic. Ooh! a bit of a pogo swing because she isn't super tall now how she control the tension she goes to Sophie Miho Nonaka fell here oh my goodness JK makes it look so good oh my goodness she holds the tension so great the crowd is going wild Jane Kim passes the crux only 35 seconds left on the clock does she have enough time to go for the top comes in for this really really shallow pinch comes in right hand she has to find some kind of clip no she's deciding to go across a little bit more maybe she's gonna clip again back maybe no she's finding, she's she's ignoring the clip so far oh I don't know how she's gonna she's yeah she's going for it oh Almost the end of the top, 12 seconds left, but she manages to pass the top cross. Well done. Jane Kim, welcome back from retirement. Hello. Kumi now up into the hit wall section. She is going to meet the crux here. Will she be able to flow through like Jane Kim? Or will she be able to... Oh, goes up right big hand. Big move, gets her right foot across. Now she's in the same boat as Miho Nonaka. What will she do? She's thinking of some kind of heel hook or left hole hook. No, she goes in, crosses. Oh, it falls the same direction. Uh, I think she ties Miho Nanaka, but I think due to comeback, she might be have she might have the edge over Miho. So we'll have to see. Pills with thirty seconds left on the clock now. With Yanya Gambre out of the picture, Jesse Pills. This is her chance to get gold. She hardly gets gold. She goes for a back flag instead. Oh no! She barely gets it. Oh, she actually kind of hit the the bottom hold, uh, bottom bolt hold blocker, but. Ah oh man, that could have been her moment to beat Yanya Gamret. Well, not Yanya Gamret, but oh, whatever. <laughs> this is Chase Wen Siu now, the final climber out. Will she be able to go further than Jane and Kim, her fellow South Korean? We'll have to see. Chae Hoon Siu comes in left hand. This is her time to shine. With Yanya Gamret out of the picture, Chae Hoon Siu stands a chance to win gold. Because Yana Gabriel has been so dominant over the whole season. I'll be making a video about her. What makes her uniquely special other than her climbing ability. But for now, Che Hoon Seo has an opportunity here. Will she seize it or will she just give it up? We'll have to see. Now, Che Hoon Seo coming into this slightly complex um, section here. Reads it quite well. Takes the left hand under cling. But, oh, I don't think that's the right one. Yeah, you need to bump. Go right foot to heel. There we go. Presses up. Now she gets to this quite uh, juggy hole. This is where you will rest and come through the first tricky boulder problem here. Where we saw Jane and Kim really kind of uh, beautifully, uh, you know, manage to static her way through. But will Jane and Seo do the same or will she go for a more dynamic approach? She comes in left hand. Because, oh, yep, she goes for a heel hook as well, similar to Jane Kim. Pops up oh, a little bit more dynamic than Jane Kim, but uh, she makes it work either way. Comes in with her right hand. It's always interesting to see, you know, at the highest level, like the short climbers are doing the static beta and the taller climbers are doing the more dynamic beta. It's quite funny. Um, this is very true with Aimori as well. Aimori tends to do the static beta even though she's shorter, a lot shorter than the other girls. 
So it was very, very funny. <laughs> I don't know, this, this, this is something I know. Oh! Oh no, wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? 